All right. Um, before I get started, I'm just curious. Um, how many people in the audience are carrying a BlackBerry today? All right, pretty good. How about an iPhone? All right, better. Um, any Android users? All right, good to see. Um, so quickly, just a bit about founders. So I'm David from Enterproid. Um, there's three founders. And we've worked for about 10 years each in enterprise mobility. And um, five of years of which were spent working at Morgan Stanley. And you know, the financial services industry is interesting because they have huge IT budgets. And they're actually willing to spend a lot of money in terms of um, as a competitive advantage, right? So for example, while we're at Morgan Stanley, we actually sat on the advisory boards of um, you know, RIM and Windows Mobile, and we've been looking at this space for a very long time. And we've actually done development on BlackBerry, iPhone, Windows Mobile, Symbian. And um, now that Android is out, we're actually quite happy because I think while Apple and these other platforms are great, I think for the first time with Android, you have a truly open operating system where you can have really deep levels of integration. So in terms of, if you look at where the enterprise mobility space is today, right? Um, BlackBerry is definitely the incumbent player, and they've basically owned that market for the last 10 years. And if you look at the statistics, they pretty much own 80% of the enterprise market. And you know what? They did a really good job, right? Um, 10 years ago, getting your email security to your device behind the corporate firewall was a big problem. And they solved it by basically having the BlackBerry enterprise server installed behind the firewall. And for a long time, people were happy with it. But uh, you know, three years ago, this little phone called the iPhone came out. And um, people realized that there's more to life on the go than just email. Um, apps matter. Having a great browser matters. Content matters. Media matters. And people would love you know, using their iPhone for work. But uh, unfortunately, a lot of companies, especially ones that are heavily regulated, um, are not comfortable letting their employees use iPhones. So what ends up happening is you've got the proverbial BlackBerry in the front pocket, and you've got your iPhone in the back pocket. And people have this two-device solution. Actually, I'm curious, how many people here actually end up having to carry two phones? All right. Um, so, you know, at Enterproid, we think that's a bunch of bollocks, right? Like, who likes actually carrying two phones, right? Um, why can't I have a single device that basically allows me to have my perfect work and personal life, right? And I think to do that, um, you really have to throw a lot of assumptions out the window. You don't want to kind of bolt a personal experience onto an enterprise device. And at the same time, you don't really want to bolt an enterprise experience onto a personal device. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you think of the BlackBerry, right? Even if it had the best browser in the world, the best app store, the best everything, right? Um, when you activate that BlackBerry with your IT department, the first thing they're going to do is lock everything out. Um, for example, when we're at Morgan Stanley, you know, the Berry came out with camera, it was great. It came out with Bluetooth, came out with SD cards. But the very first thing that happened every single time, they were like, how can we lock that? Because at the end of the day, it's an information security risk for them, right? And they're under no incentive or obligation to give you that wonderful personal experience which you want. So what is the personal experience? Well, so for you Android users out there, you're probably pretty familiar with this screen. Um, so on the left, it's basically you know, a vanilla Android device, right? I have all my apps. I have Facebook. I have you know, my marketplace. I have Twitter. I have my, my Gmail, um, my SMS. And you know, I have full access to my um, personal life. I can download anything off the marketplace I want. And unlike iPhone, I can even access to my porn, right? And Flash. <laughs> um, but imagine, right, with a flip of a button, now you're on the right side. So this is basically a totally different environment, which is now managed by your IT, as you can see. Totally different background, a complete separate set of enterprise applications. So what you can think of is, what you really have is um, two virtual phones running on a single physical device. So essentially what you have is a sandboxed um, personal and professional life. Now some people might argue, you know what, unified inbox is great, having everything unified into one environment is great. So I'll just give you a couple of examples. Um, so Actually, I think, I'm sure a lot of you guys are application developers, right? So today for Android or for iPhone, it's actually very easy to write an application that just snoop through somebody's address book and spam all of your friends, right? So um, for example, like if I like, actually just a couple of weeks ago um, at the security conference down in San Diego, you know, there's a study basically saying that um, I think 30 or 40% of applications essentially have access to sensitive information on your device that you really don't have business seeing. But just imagine for a second, um, so I go download what I think is a great app, but it's actually malware, right? Now, um, it actually looks through my address book and spams all my friends. 
Now, if I had commingled my, basically, say I'm a banker and I commingled my 500 you know, business contacts into my personal address book, that would be a pretty bad thing for me as a business user. Um, with a separated environment, you know, everything you do on the business side is secure. So it really sucks for your friends that you downloaded this bad app and they all got spammed, but at least you know, all your work information is safe. And then take a look on the other side. So say you work for a bank today and you know, first day of work they give you a corporate Blackberry. It's great that they bought it for you, that they're paying for it, but you got that naggy feeling that, you know what, everything I do on here is probably logged, right? I mean, every email you send, every phone call you make, every SMS you make. So if you're texting your wife, your mistress, your girlfriend, whatever, I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's all logged by the company, right? And I think, you know, this day, I think people are very sensitive about privacy and having this kind of two virtual work environments on your phone allows you to have that clean segregation. So I've talked you know, about why having a unified personal and work device is great and why actually having two sandboxes gives you more enterprise grade features. Um, let's talk about another big trend that's happening in the enterprise. Um, so for the last 20 years, I would argue that um, you know, most companies have to run their own mail servers, you know, whether it's Exchange or whatever, right? And um, in the case of BlackBerry, in order to get that basically mobile infrastructure, they've also had to run um, BEZ, basically the BlackBerry Enterprise Server. I think today, when you're looking at a lot of companies, everyone's moving to the cloud. I think cloud is a big, hot buzzword that everybody's happy tossing around. And actually, for a lot of startups, I would argue that you guys are probably perfectly happy using Google Apps for domains, which is certainly what we use at Enterproid. Um, so for companies that are moving their kind of legacy email infrastructure into the cloud, like, it's great you're doing that. You know, while you're throwing out your exchange plant, why would you want to continue to run a legacy BEZ infrastructure for enterprise mobility? So Enterprise also allows you to seamlessly manage the entire fleet of mobile devices from the cloud. So we've been fortunate that um, given our background, we've been able to go and speak to a you know, large segregate, I mean, a bunch of different companies in the um, ecosystem. So we've talked to actual end businesses, we've talked to device manufacturers, and we've talked to carriers. And I think that you know, at the core of our story, we're a very partner-oriented company. Um, we want to deliver value to everybody in the ecosystem. So for example, when you're a carrier like Vodafone, um, you know, today, to be honest, right, if you're a business and you say, I want an enterprise solution, the best they can do is resell you a BlackBerry. So really, what would differentiate a Vodafone from a 3, from a CSL, or from any other carrier, right? Um, with Enterproy, because of our cloud management features, they can now resell you, essentially, value-added services. They no longer just have to be a dumb pipe for the businesses. Um, obviously, for the device manufacturers, you know, everybody wants to get into the enterprise, and I think, what we allow them to have is differentiation. They can differentiate against their competitors, against vanilla Android, against you know, a plethora of other hardware devices. And of course, lastly, for the businesses, um, you know, guess what? You don't have to buy your employees' Blackberries anymore. They can just go on, use whatever device they're happy with, and you can be, feel completely safe that you know, your work information is protected, and uh, life goes on. So in terms of where the company is, um, you know, the product's actually coming along very well. I'd be happy to give you guys a live demo outside or after this or I'll be here all day. But um, so, you know, Voda's actually very excited and we're gonna start trials with actually their customers um, starting September of this year. And I think we're gonna have, make it generally available for everybody, you know, via the Android Marketplace or, you know, just other ways um, January next year. And we're looking forward to launching a full, basically, um, carrier slash OEM edition summer of next year. Um, so in terms of this um, opportunity, I think what I would really love to get out of here is um, just given the founder's background, actually, Andrew's actually based out of uh, New York and Alex is based out of London and I'm here in Hong Kong. So they've actually done an amazing job of doing business development in North America and Europe and I have to say that I've done a horrible job of business development in Asia. So um, I would absolutely love to understand, you know, find partners, you know, whether it's businesses, carriers or device manufacturers to, you know, really understand how things work here in Asia. Um, and you know, get the ball moving here. And lastly, of course, I think um, we're always hiring for rock stars. So and if you guys are awesome, talented individuals, definitely feel free to drop me an email and we're always hiring. So thank you very much.